Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. Let's work on this Zenith 1950 AM radio alarm clock. This is a Bakelite. Uh, they call it OWL for the cabinet design. Let's talk a little about Zenith. Uh, Zenith is a company that they built a quality product. My understanding they started in 1920s and they, uh, the advertising said the world's largest radio factory on one floor. The, the radios are just absolutely beautiful. And they had incredible showrooms as you see here. And the motto was the quality goes in before the name goes on. We're going to repair this and then we're going to test all the capacitor, resistor, coils and tubes to see if to what condition they are. Majority of capacitors and some of the resistors usually need to be changed. To repair whatever else needs to be repaired in the chassis and then we repair the alarm clock. Usually the radio is old, especially if we sit for a long time. Uh, those clocks, you know, usually they freeze. So we need to work on that. Uh, never done that before, but we're going to do it together. And uh, it's going to be a learning process as well. And uh, then to make a missing knob for the clock, one of the knobs are missing. Then after everything is done, we're going to reassemble everything back together. Thank you to my subscribers for watching my videos and encouraging me with your uplifting comments. This has continued to motivate me to post more videos, especially since this is just a hobby of mine. I appreciate your time. You enjoy the video. Take care. Let's start working on this radio. I bought this many, many years ago. I mean, long, long time ago. And uh, one of the stores, like a thrift shop, I paid maybe, I'm not sure uh, the, how much for it. It's the Zenith, as you see, it has a clock and also AM radio. It's a tube radio, as you know. When I purchased this, it's was broken of course it was very very dairy it was in it was awful condition at that time used this product polished it and i'm telling you this is now over maybe 20 25 years and it's still shiny i haven't even cleaned it yet if i take the dust off you see it still is very shiny that's that's the great product and uh, so when I purchased it, it has a big crack here, as you see, and a piece is missing, uh, but it has everything else. And the only thing you need another knob here, I assume is going to be like one of this, so maybe uh, use one of them uh, to uh, make the third one. So need some work, and it has everything, and it has all this stuff also has a crack i don't know if you see it or not all the way up to here see right there so as you know i like to keep everything as, as original as possible i don't want to paint this i have one to repair here and also build here this piece that is missing this piece is missing build this up. I have a couple of options. First, you see the curves are same. The first option is maybe I can make some mold here, you know, something, then turn it around, put it here, fill it up. And the second option is just somehow fill this up. Let's see if it's doable. And I took this out a few minutes ago. Mad. And somebody already been here. And all these wires are cut as you see. So let's start restoring this radio. So I'm going to take everything apart and then start working on chassis. Stay tuned. This might be another good project. 
I don't know how bad inside is. I'm sure all the capacity needs to be replaced as well. Okay. I assume it comes out like that. Yep. I'm going to put those parts in the plastic bag and I'll mark it through the years I've learned. i got to do that because, you know, you, this is going to take a while to restore. So then I don't need to remember where everything's are, right? So let's put everything in the bag and mark it going to this radio. What I did, I marked this uh, wire, the one that it goes to the top, so I remember later on where actually to install it. So let's desolder all this, two wires. I want the backing off so I can't get to everything. Sometimes I learned from the past, the old solder is so hard sometimes to melt. The easiest is to add a little new solder to your soldering iron. Then that's going to melt the old one. That's a trick I'm using. Let's see, okay, this is out. Put it in a safe area. Oh, there's two screw in the bar. Oh, there's a couple of other screw all the way inside. Those need to come out too. Let's try to pull it out. Yeah, came out. Look how small this unit is. Of course, the speaker has a little hole that can be fixed, but otherwise, in pretty good condition. Hopefully, this is going to be easy fixed. All right, we're going to put this aside right now. I'm going to focus on the case. Need to figure out how to take this one out. Let's take this cover out. This might be too big. No. Good size. Maybe years ago I cut these wires and I'm blaming someone else, right? <laughs> I don't remember, I bought this many, many years ago. Gosh, it was, it was a long, long time ago. I don't want to damage anything. Should be a trick to take this out of here. Yeah, that's what it was. clock is out. I don't know if it works or not. We can try that later. Usually clock doesn't go bad unless it's messed up. This is some wires broken here. Need to figure that one out. See it's broken or maybe it came off. We're going to figure that out later. Put the washer and a screw back. It's going to be easier later to remember what you need to do. But yeah, I'm going to put this somewhere to be safe. Again, the goal is to work on the case first. All right, and the chassis and also the clock is out of radio. And this is how the inside look like. Very dusty, of course, I want to clean that dust. Let's start working on this. Again, you see the crack come all the way here. 
bottom is all the way here, right there, if you see it. See the crack? So those are need to be fixed using a formula. Usually I take it also and clean it, but it's raining outside, so let me just take the dust out. I don't want to get all over the house. Watch your folks. What I did here, I got my screwdriver. I went over the crack. You know, I scratched it off like that. Like this, all the way. The reason I did that, I want when I use this dremeler, you know, it goes right over the line. Otherwise, it's so hard to control it. Hook this up to the very end, so adjust the control, go speed. Let me quickly explain why I'm using two different uh, uh, products. They're both JB welds. One, it takes 24 hours dry time. And this is for uh, large missing parts because I need more time to s set it correctly. And this is for the quick, this is a six minutes. I use this for cracks. If there's a crack, you know, I want to hold on to those cracks until it get dry. Uh, so I just want to show you this. These are what I'm using and hopefully it's going to help you as well. We're mixing this epoxy. So again, you want to make sure it makes pretty well. Okay, we want to put the epoxy right here. No, I'm going to level it. And now I'm holding here the crack like that. Put run, run my finger so make sure there's no gap. I'm going to hold it until it dry. When I run my finger against that, it, it's pretty smooth. I'm just pressing the high area to level. Very smooth. You see, inside is leveled very well. Since I cannot use this, you know, to go here, uh, see, it's too, too thick. And what I did, and instead of this tool, I have this file. You know, it's like that. I went inside here, and like this. I have to take some of the material out so I can fill it up with epoxy as well. And as you see, the crack is all the way, all the way to here. So I'm trying to fix that as well from inside, not outside. All right, let me work on that. And use this, they call them clamp. You know, it's like a cloth type of clamp. Mixing some epoxy, and we want to fill up that crack over there. This epoxy is going to level itself. I'm going to clean up the extra one off. All right, now we're going to let it set to dry. See? All right, this is 24 hours later. As you see, that has already totally dried. And I put this to support the radius so 
can hold it together. So take this out. The only thing I'm doing is releasing right here. Very smooth, but the crack is very smooth. Awesome. Not today, but I'm gonna focus to fill this area, you know, to make this part. I wanna take the opportunity and thank you for taking your valuable time watching these videos. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when a new video being uploaded. You have a great day.